The choir of Westminster Abbey had a moment in the spotlight during Monday's state funeral service for Queen Elizabeth II, and one choir boy in particular captured Twitter users' hearts. With one user tweeting, I know it's all about the Queen, but the star of this funeral so far has been the overly dramatic red-headed choir boy who apparently has never brushed his hair. He needs a Twitter account. And another writing, the little red-headed choir boy at the Queen's funeral is a superstar. With a third penning, obsessed with the red-headed choir boy, giving the performance of his life at the hashtag Queen's funeral. And finally, another tweeting, the red-haired choir boy is really feeling his singing, LOL. Well, it's broadcasting all over the world, so shine away, little boy. Another young choir boy also went viral, but for an entirely different reason. The singer's moment to shine was unfortunately upstaged by a lamp, with one Twitter user writing, Imagine being the proud parents of the choir boy on the right, waiting to see your little one sing in front of billions, and then this happens. Hashtag Queen's Funeral. And another comparing it to a famous moment from Disney Pixar's classic kids movie, Monsters, Inc. Tweeting, Some poor choir boy is going to have a Mike Wazowski moment when he watches his parents' recording of the funeral. Hashtag Queen's Funeral. The choir was first established in the 14th century. But for Queen Elizabeth's funeral, it was comprised of 30 choir boys between ages 8 and 13 years old and 12 adult singers, who were all led by musical director James O'Donnell. The late monarch died on September 8th at 96 years old. It's clear the Queen will have a lasting impression on the world. Dailymail.com's Charlie Langston spoke to Access Hollywood about the Royal Majesty's legacy following her death. I don't think the impact of the Queen's passing can ever really be overstated. I can imagine that tears are being shed the world over. I myself have already shed a few. I know that my family and friends in the UK are all devastated. The reality is for most people in the UK and indeed the world over, they have not known life without the Queen. I was born and raised to respect and admire the Queen. My mother has not known life without the Queen. And I am one of millions who are used to not only having her almost as a, a symbol of comfort because she has always been there, but also as an immense symbol of pride in what it means to be British and what it means to be part of a nation that, yes, is very small, but as a result of the monarchy and as a result of the work that the Queen has done tirelessly over 70 years, our nation has had an incredible impact on the world. And that's something to be especially proud of as a Brit, both today and continuing on into the future as we continue to remember the Queen and everything she did during her reign.